support. This video was brought to you by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. And sponsored by G2A.com. For the cheapest games, MSP and PSN codes. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another 2026 episode. Yep, it's been a while, but we're back and we're going to be hopefully rolling out a lot more over the course of the next couple of days. And I did ask you guys who you wanted me to do first and I did a little bit of research as well. And there were plenty of plenty of suggestions, absolutely. But one man popped up a little bit more than others and that man is Emre Moore. The extremely young Turkish striker currently doing his trade at Dortmund right now. He's definitely starting to break into that team a lot more as well. And he really looks like he's going to be a future superstar. He is one of the players that has improved his football stock so, so much in just the course of a year. Right up there with, I think, in my honest opinion, like a Gianluigi Donnarumma, a Marcus Rashford. He might not be at that level just yet, but seriously, what he's come from just a year ago, being almost no one had heard of him to what he is now, it's crazy. And when you look at some of the lower rated players that are around about his overall, and you look at the potential that all those players would have, the younger players, there's almost no one that touches Emre more. He's just incredible. He's just incredible right now. We're going to go through his stats, going to go through potential and through his growth, and you'll see how spectacular this man is. So let's take a look at Emre Moore's stats. He's 64 overall right now, although I think recently after I made this video, he has gotten a bit of an up he has gotten a little bit of an upgrade. So either way, just keep that in mind. But I don't think it's too big of a difference. I think he's at 65 right now. But anyway, you saw his stats right there for his physical, the pace, the agility that he has, and the balance is insane. The ball control and dribbling is in the 80s for a 64 rated body striker. That's incredible. He's four star skill moves as well. He does have three star weak foot too. Low defensive, medium attacking work rates. Only five foot seven. Obviously, he's not going to get any taller than that. But still, uh, five foot seven. You can definitely work with that. And Acrobat and the flare trait to add on to there as well. And he's also got 85 potential in the game. A plus 20 potential growth for Emre Moore. There are only so many players in the game that are actually capable of going up by that much in career mode. This man's one of them. And let's take a look. As we start scrolling down, he's gone up by four in his first season. Pretty decent. No mental growth, but the technical and the physical, it's all right there for him. As a matter of fact, you always get that one stat that goes by so much this year. And this time it's been volleys up to 66 with a plus 10. But apart from that, the technical growth is all pretty decent, to be fair. Some going up by seven and six. It's sensational stuff. So plus four in the first season, now moving on into season two, hoping for similar sort of results. If he could go up by more, then I'm absolutely going to take that. Although it definitely takes something special. And this time he doesn't get it, but he still does go up by four. And the technical attributes this time don't go up by at least every single stat this time around. But we still have some stats going up into what, like plus 10, like with his short passing. So that's obviously great to see. Long shots, volleys, shot power, finishing or getting up into the 70s as well the dribbling's on point the pace is on point it's great and now for the final season season number three before we do skip ahead to 2026 we will take a look and see at the end of the third season if he's been able to crack into the high 70s i'm sure he will he just needs plus three plus four this season has he been able to get it emre moore he has gotten the plus three he's dropped off by one with his uh overall growth for every other season beforehand but 75 at 21 years of age and then you just break down some of these stats like i was worried that he wasn't extremely well-rounded or he didn't have an extremely uh, decent amount of like other stats like playmaking, passing and some other stuff. But they're, they're really starting to come up now, which is a very good sign. Ball control and dribbling up in the 90s. The pace is nearly at 99 all across the board as well. But that's it for Emre Moore's first three seasons. Now we skip ahead to 2026 to see what he is at the peak of his powers. Let's take a look. Let's go all the way to 2026. And so here we are, 2026 with Emre Moore. Going up by, what, 11 in his first three seasons. It's very, very good growth. It's almost what you'd expect for a guy of his age, of his potential. Has he been able to get to his potential? What is his rating in 2026? He's actually fallen short in this simulation, which is a bit interesting. He's 28 years of age, so definitely got maybe a year or two left in him, but you would think he'd start to drop off pretty soon. He's only got to 84. I say he's only got to 84. Like, he's still obviously done a spectacular job to get to that rating. And when we look at some of the, some of the incredible stats this man has, I am seeing so many 99 rated stats. Let's actually count them down. I mean, his agility, his balance, which are already bloody close to a 99 anyway, are now at 99. Acceleration, sprint speed, ball control and dribbling are up to 99, as are his volleys. What is that? 
seven stats that are in the 99s. That is incredible. It's absolutely ridiculous, as a matter of fact. I don't know what this guy would be like on ball, but it'd be freakish. Who cares if he hasn't reached his over or if he hasn't reached his potential or gone past it? Who cares? He's missed it by one. With stats like that, that's incredible. He's really been able to develop some of his other game as well, like his short passing up to an 88. The finishing's way up there too as well. The shot power, a 92 shot power. For a guy like that, the long shots as well, this dude would probably be one of the most insane strikers in game. He'd, he'd just be ridiculous, like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little, uh, I don't know, just a little beast running around. That's that's what I've got right there. Just a pacey, perfect ball control, just never leaving his foot with an absolute rocket on him. I mean, I can't wait to see what he's like. But that's going to do it for Emre Moore in 2026, guys. And like I said at the start of this episode, I did admit that he has recently gotten a bit of an upgrade, so he's probably going to get even better than that if you were to try this yourself. So... Bloody hell, I cannot recommend him more for a pickup, especially if you're doing like a road to glory. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my name's Masterbucks. Have a good one.